I'm going to adjust the clutch on my truck today. And I just want to show this is one thing I do on mine is on the harmonic balancer in front. I've got it painted. The white paint, I think that's just white out. I don't even remember. But I think it's just white out correction fluid. And I put, um, you know, with a Sharpie marked on there. And I just use this little metal tab that's in the front here on my Detroit. So whatever engine you have, whatever you can find on there to mark so that you know how to find it. And uh, what you're marking there is, I'll show underneath. Now here we are in the inspection cover underneath. Uh, that is my adjusting bolt right there. And so get the camera set up and show you how to adjust that. But that's why I mark it out in front so that I don't have to keep turning the engine and trying to find this down here. I can just turn the engine either by hand out in front by turning the fan or um, turn it with the key or whatever, start it up and stop it. And that's uh, how I know that the bolt's going to be in the right place. Here's my clutch pedal. I've got about one inch of free play. I'd like to have at least one and a half or two inches. And the pedal has to be down to the floor, real close to the floor, before you can adjust the clutch. So what I like to do is take a board and put it on the pedal and under the seat. I'm just going to use this board that I keep in the truck. I just use, I call it a lap board. It's just a little piece of scrap plywood that uh, I can use for a little table when I need that. I'll put the board under there and I'm going to get the seat adjustment thing here and so get the board whatever you got piece of two by four piece of plywood like I got here get the clutch pedal down to the floor adjust your seat to where the board is between the seat and the pedal and keep the pedal down it doesn't have to be tight against the floor just it's got to have a the clutch spring released. Anyway, let's go back underneath. Let's see if we can do this without getting in the way of the camera. Now you gotta push that bolt in and I tried to do that a few minutes ago before I went back in and got some more tools. I'm using a 5 8 socket on that. I could not push it in just with my hand. What I had to do was come out here with a big screwdriver and pry against that. I had to pry against between the ratchet. I'm using a long socket. I had to pry between the ratchet and the hole here and force that spring to, to go in it didn't want to go in it's not going in now oh I'm on the wrong bolt I can't see what I'm doing because I don't have a light in there there we go I had to put the uh, thing in there and force it in there like that and you shouldn't have to but sometimes you have to just to get it started when it's been not been adjusted in a long time anyway you push it in there and turn it clockwise like you're tightening it It's not this hard, but it is when you're trying to stay out of the way of the camera and you can't see.
and you just have to get a feel for how how many turns it's going to take and this might be enough right now let's go on up and see what it looks like See what kind of free play we got now. More than I wanted. I probably went too far. That's probably closer to three inches. I only tighten it back up a little bit. Got the board back in, and now I'm going to tighten this up. I mean, loose, loosen the bolt. In other words, turning it counterclockwise. Now I'm going to go back up and check. Now we got it. About two inch free play, that's what I want. And when it gets up to about an inch free play again, I'll adjust it again. Okay, that's how you adjust the new style clutch. Thanks for watching.